trying to... Oh, let me see this pencil to get some thoughts going here. Is if I go like this, I'm trying to get the impression that this is the same width as this, but it's just buried. So if we start with... this something like this and what happens is is that I'm going to lay this down a little more get there and it will separate there we go where are you that's what we're kind of looking for All right, let's move on and move away. Uh, like I said, I want to put in some, get to the back here, and I want to put in some of the details, some of the back details. i just put a little bit of twist here like this. Like that. Same with here. And I'm going to take some of these knife marks off. Any more? I think there's some more of those marks there. And so I want to make it like this. And any other more mark? Or do that when when we're doing the clean up. I guess the less the more we do now, the less we have to worry then. At the same time, we want one of these. Get a little extra here like this. And another one of these. And uh, take and do some scoops. We'll do more in the front, of course, but because he's got kind of a baggy-ish kind of a shirt. So I had some more, this will be adding some more dents. Except that the shoulder is pretty well, there's not too much wrinkle at the shoulder. So the back is looking pretty decent. And with the exception of the, you know, the hat and the hair, we're almost done with the back, except I still want what kind of a, uh, we still need to put the, uh, uh, where the knee, somewhere around there in the knee. 
which means we may have to lift this up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I can always hate that when, gee whiz, I cut, but it doesn't come off. No, what kind of what kind of attitude is that? Some kind of a some kind of an attitude of having that. I expect that to come out of there. The knee is about here. A little higher. And that's that <coughs> behind the knee bend. And I might want to use a. So that's too wide to keep it going because I want to keep it going around. Now, had we not had this apron, we would be working more on the the butoctal area. But I'm really, like I said, I'm doing this as fast pace. I'm really swinging this around a lot. And then it'll be right here. That's a little bit. I started to get a little cleaning up, but don't want to do that. There's the bend. Now I want to do one of the things I don't think oh, I do have some in there. Is a little bit of there's still a little bit of sharp wrinkles here. Even though we have the sharp wrinkle in the front, we'll just we don't want to have this to be perfectly straight. Putting wrinkles. At least what we're doing here is just simple. A few simple wrinkles is enough to really add value to your carvings if you have never done wrinkles before. Dig a little deep in there for that wrinkle. And I do want it to go on a little bit here. Carry on just a little bit. Okay, speaking of wrinkles, let's get our larger. Let's start with this. Is that too large? And add, nah, it might be a little too. Yeah. Adding a little more character, character, character to the keep the keep a little bit of the fold going. Well, I'm at that point where it doesn't matter which way it goes; it goes this way or this way. It's Okay, the back is looking really good. And with that, it's time to swing over. Here comes the fun part. 
the hands. Oh, are we going to have fun with the hands? I'm simple caricature hands. Like I said, this one here is a simple round holding on to the holding on to the uh, spoon. And then we got to do a lot of digging in the spoon too. And there is a digging to, digging to be done. But I have to get the handle of the hand first and then we can make the spoon fit the hand. Where this hand here is very open or much more open. And I'm aiming to get the uh, thumb a little higher. See, we got some some more room to get the thumb a little higher. And we want to put the uh, at least one, if not two fingers underneath the bowl because you don't, I mean, you don't hold the bowl like this. You hold the bowl, you're lifting, holding the bottom, and you're grabbing the hold of the top. That was my first round. I just simply had five fingers just holding it like he's holding on to a doll and that's not how you hold on to a bucket full of a barrel full of something ingredients there so let us begin i will start by um, shaping the hand first before we start putting any kind of fingers in now the hand goes inside the sleeve so the sleeve, and this is going to have a uh, um, cuffs. Now the cuffs are going to be different. When I get to the cuffs, I'll talk more about it then. But we'll get now the thumb. How did I do this? Yeah, I have the thumb hidden in the back. So we're more concerned with four fingers. And I'm going to take quite a bit of this off. So that, again, the hand is in the sleeve. Pardon me. Now I'm glad I, I like I mentioned before, is uh, when, I, when I receive rough outs, and if one of them will have, have an anomaly like that, this one's kind of small, but usually I just do not want to give that or sell that, especially sell that to anybody. This one would have been like an emergency last one or something like that. And I've had success with dealing with that and painting it. And there's even once in a while you, when you dig deeper and deeper, it goes away. And we don't, I think we can do a little bit. Now, the other thing is it might come out more. Because this is this, is this first bend is what we're doing. We're just this first bend and it's going to come around. But I want to be careful. I think the bowl might continue on. Just hold on. Don't take too much off. Just enough to get the finger. It's like a, think about the index finger holding the spoon in which is, is resting against the bowl. I wonder if this is chisel time. Because I, I want to, it's kind of hard to hold on to this while showing you at the same time because it does. <sighs> now I'm just going to begin now his hand is coming, uh, it is straight. This is a straight hand. 
so it will be a or straight arm, so it'll be a straight hand. I will just give this a little, just a little bit of kind of seeing where we're at. Saving room for that thumb. Now, if I were to pencil, again, we want to the middle line, and then there's two on either side. Now, this is a closed one, so we're not going to have too much forward or too much back. I think I went too far on that one. And if that is so, here's the spoon. He's holding it. Yeah, this is the center right here. I'm gonna. It's gonna be tilt, tis, tilted a little this way. And I think we have enough. How would you hold on to a spoon? By na by natural. If you you scoop through the spoon. And you hold it. So in other words, it's going out this way. I want to make it a little more natural because it does give, and we do have quite a bit of wood. If you tilt, if you uh, not only you tilt it, but twist it naturally, not straight. It could be straight. I mean, um, <clears throat> sometimes if you're posing for a picture, you'll try to get, try to line yourself up in a perfect way. But I'm going to go with this. It adds again. It adds. See, they're just straight on. See how that turns? See, that adds. I like how that adds a little extra character to it. Again, I had it. It could be tilted a little bit forward towards the center. Again, how did I have it? Did I tilt it the other way? How is it? So it's towards the center more. Or towards the nose. Well, center, towards the nose. And we got plenty. This doesn't have to be, I think, again... The spoon could be, the handle could be a little thinner. And so again, we will use our, our drawing device. So it's like, what would happen if we did this? And I think that, as I recall, I think one of the main reasons why I'd like to have that handle a little bigger so that don't pop off or it don't uh, fall off. So, again, or not again, what I've, what I've said before is I want to, I'll just start this a little bit here, but I want to do the shaping of the spoon a little bit. And so I might leave the spoon alone, except this is just going to bug me here. Okay, I'll leave the spoon alone for now, except all right, I'll just do a little bit of this. Oops. I guess just to get it started, I suppose. And that is end grain up there. So, with that, uh, 
detour. I know I'd find it. I know I'd find I knew it. Now these are pretty big hands. This is a somewhat of a caricature. Okay, we put the fingers in with the V. Oh, where's my light? No wonder everything is looking so shadowy. Is that, yeah, that's the hat we see. That's a shadow right there. Okay. Knife. Like I said, about 10 degrees. I always say that, like I said, I think, did I say 10 degrees in this video? 10 degrees this way. Now we can really chop down at this because there's a lot of wood there. There's a lot of, a lot of healthy wood there. That and the one that's the thing that's different from all my others or some of my others is that we would have to, we have him holding something in which we drill a hole and then we would carve that thing and put that thing in. We would carve the hole first. We would have done that. We would have shut down and carved the hole first. All right, now I want to shape the hand a little more before I shape, start shaping the fingers. I want to shape the hand and make sure that it looks pretty decent. Again, taking little boogers out. Now, here we go. We're going to do some... I'm, I'm relatively really okay. I mean, I'm not... I don't, I don't think I want to shrink the hand. I mean, it's a good Santa, big Santa hand. Now, I want to be careful with the bowl. Is cut in this way a little bit. So we can cut in a little this way. So in other words, here's the knuckle. So we're beginning of the knuckles. And then we're going to continue with this. This, this. Now I do this usually. See, there isn't really not much. Yeah, there is some. I know that the pinky is, is is smaller, but when you're when you're at this position, the pinky only shows a little bit of of shortness, as it were. In which that of course we know the middle finger is the bit as the bigger finger. Uh, what we see in is this kind of a, a sort of an arch. Make sure when you do that you cut in. Okay. All right. Now I want to take, oh, what do we got? A small number nine or a larger number nine? There's my larger number nine, but the smaller will do because the grain goes this way and we want. Something like this. Now others, that's looking better. Have this thing where you have this, you cut, you take your uh, round tool and you go this way, this way, and this way. I mean, it, it might. I don't, I don't 100% agree with them, but it does add some nice caricature when you do that. So it's, I'm not going to do that because I, I don't care for that. And now we're going to round. And it's going to be this, because there's, there's a knuckle right here. This is the knuckle. So it's going to be a, more of a scoop. Pardon me. Watch the green. 